Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be updating April's debt tracker because I didn't do that in the month of April. And I will also be updating May's debt tracker. So I'm gonna get straight into the video as I don't want this to be very long. If you've not already watched my debt confession video, it's live, it's about an hour and 30 minutes long. You don't have to sit and watch it you could just have it playing and listen where i shared my story live just explaining how i keep going in and out of debt this vicious cycle so do check that video out anywho we are ready to roll so we've got our natwest credit card the starting balance and that was 1172 pounds 86 pence budgeted amount was 184.35 and we paid 184.35 and we had 988.51 left, but then £20.11 was added to that, and we had £1,008.62 left. This was for April, so do remember that amount. Curry's your plan. So I did clear off this. I emptied out my home savings account. I had just over four grand in that account that I saved up from my old job working as a support worker. I saved that up to buy me and my son our first home. It took us about two years or so to get that amount, but it took a day to fully deplete that amount. We've just got a small amount left in that that we're gonna rebuild and start over. So this was paid in full so on the 27th of April we paid 504 and our balance on that is zero on this one this one here is my cooker so this was the washing machine this one is the cooker 78010 i paid that off in full And the dates I paid these amounts off were the, the 27th of April. So I'm just going to put the 27th of the 4th, 27th of the 4th. Because if you look up my old video when I started doing this, I'll link the video that I'm talking about. I'll pin it in the comment section. The payoff date for these two, the cooker was in October and the washer was in august i just decided to pay those down vanquish that's my credit card that's paid in full i did balance transfer this amount i'm not gonna lie because i went into a panic mode so i balance transferred the full amount of 800 so our balances are zero then we're coming down to the Good Samaritan. I also paid this in full on the 26th. This was way overdue, over a year overdue, and I just paid it. So all of this came out of my savings that I had for my house. So 778.50 paid on the 26th of the 4th. And the balance transfer, I'll get the date for that for you guys. And just for myself, just as a, a little reminder. That was done on the 17th of April. Now, creations, dreams, this is my bed. That was £75 and I paid £75. So if we do 450 minus 75, that gives us 375. So that's the balance here. Where am I? I don't want to write in the wrong box, so that's zero. We've got a lot of zeros. Positive, but you're going to see in May how I sabotage myself. Okay, so 375 here. And then we've got PayPal 
38.18, that's what we paid. So we've got 457.97 from 38.18. That leaves us with 419.79. If I've miscalculated, guys, just leave it in the comments. Thank you. And I will pin it. So $419.79. And then Tesco Bank, we paid £30 in April, I think it was. Let me just log in and check. Guys, I should have had these numbers, but I don't. Um, <laughs> my head's all over the place right now. We paid £30 to Tesco's. And that was on the 14th of May. No, I'm, not, I'm lying. 14th of April, what? 24, 90 minus 30 leaves us with 24, 60. Okay, I'm going to add everything up like we usually do. And then we're going to see how much we paid. And I want you to remember my starting balance was £15,029.94. Okay? That's so insane. Let's add it up. So we've got... Let me see if I could pop, pop it there so you guys can see. I'm adding up this column. So we've got 184 No, I'm, I'm not adding that column. What are you doing, girl? I'm adding this column. Hold on. I'm adding this one. Hope you could see. So I'm adding 184.35 plus 504 plus 780.10 plus 800 plus 778.50. Plus 75 plus 38.18 plus 30. So that gives us 3,190 pounds 13 pence. Then we're going to head over into the balance category and we're going to add that up out of what's in here. So we've got 1,008 pounds 62 pence. Plus 375 plus 419.79 plus 2460. 4,263.41 pence. Okay, so that's how much our balance was going to be on our consumer debts. All right, I'm back and we're going to be updating May's debt so I put the debt sticker over the date bit which is what I'm doing here so I calculated my total debt right and remember the debt in April was £15,029.94 and I paid off over 3000 if we put the 15 and we minus the 3190.13, we should have been at around 11,800. Do you remember what about credit card does get interest charged to it? The Tesco one is 0%, the NatWest one does get interest. But it's not a huge amount of interest, but it's interest regardless. Now, I felt sabotaged completely by just a little under three grand I did but I must say I did balance transfer quite a bit I, I bought some stuff and I balance transferred them I balance transferred my credit card of 800 pounds if we're not the 800 pounds off if the credit card's paid but that debt has been added on to my NatWest credit card if you get what I mean because that was the credit card that I had the offer so I put 770 pounds on the credit card and there was a fee of 22 pounds 33 pence I then put 569 on it. I had just different amounts of money that I put on it. But here we are. We're back 
at square one, literally. So from my calculations, my total debt is 15,000, yep. I undid all the progress. And 95 pounds, 72 pence. I added 1,811 pounds, 76 pence. That includes the balance transfer from that other credit card. I added that onto my NatWest card. And we had a balance of like 1,000, and eight pounds 62 pence so it's up there cross that out right meaning it's no good and i'm gonna split my debt up all right so i don't want to focus on that entire number because it's a bit scary it's very scary to look at so i'm going to focus on one half of this total and the half I'll be focusing on is the one that's on my credit score. I've completely damaged my credit score. My credit score is down to either 400 or 500 because I took out like three lines of credit, one behind the other, when I was doing the balance transfers in December. I've just been a hot mess, okay? It's not just a on and off button. There's deeper rooted things that causes these triggers as well. Not the balance transfer, obviously, because that was a good move in my opinion. But the extensive spending and stuff like that, they're triggers that do that i'm not diagnosed with anything please do not diagnose me either i really go on a spending spree around the time of my parents death i've been spending on my credit card since last year summer and i've not paid it off in full at all so it's just like a revolving door instead of me coming off i'm still on it do you get what i mean anywho the debt i'll be focusing on is the consumer debt which is on my credit file and that's going to be seven thousand four hundred and ninety nine pounds thirty seven pence. So the debts I have are as follows: NatWest, and this is the amount without the interest. When interest is added, that's going to go up. Okay, so. NatWest is currently <laughs> ridiculous. Four thousand three hundred and eighty seven pounds sixty pence. Now I need to finish paying this by a certain time. I'm not really organized because I wasn't going to film. I've not filmed for a while, but I decided, you know what? I need to get on with it. If not for anyone else, for myself, you know. This expires on the 1st of the 4th, 2024. The 1st of the 4th. twenty-four. I made the box too small. Okay. So that's my starting balance. Where is my pen? This is my starting balance. Then this would be my budgeted amount, which is BA, budgeted amount. Then in I put actual. And then this will just be the balance. Okay? So that's how we're setting that up. The next item we're going to put on the roster is Tesco. We need to pay Tesco the 1st of the 3rd, 25. So the 1st of the 3rd, 25. And this is a balance transfer as well. I balance transferred NatWest onto the Tesco and I still ended up racking it up again. Anywho, let's move along. <sighs> Breathing. Right. 2,460 pounds flat. I didn't really budget an amount for this. I'm going to be honest, we're still in May at the moment. I don't know how much I'm going to pay. 
So I'm going to leave that blank. I'm going to be completely honest. And then I'll just fill in the actual when I do pay some money to it. So back to what we're saying, Tesco. I did pay £30. So if we've got 24.60 minus 30, that's 24.30. So I'm just gonna fill it in here as well. 2,000, cause I'm not paying anything else on it for this month. Then we've got creations. This will be paid off by the 1st of August. That's 375 pounds is the starting balance and we budgeted 75 and we paid 75 so our balance is now 300 so we've got three more payments and that should be done with and then that 75 pounds I'm going to roll it over into another debt we'll do that when the time comes okay the next thing we've got is paypal oh the paypal should have been above the creations but it's fine it's okay it's okay it's okay it doesn't matter i'll be finished paying paypal on the 23rd of the second 24 the reason why i'm not really touching these ones they're interest free if i leave these to just Pay, pay themselves off because they're set up by direct debit then I will be able to just take this money and roll it into say for example the NatWest roll that 75 that 75 pounds into that and just bring the balance down and I feel like once I start doing that then I'll, I'll be able to split it up amongst the Tesco and the thing do you get what I mean I don't know if you get what I mean I get what I mean but you'll see as you're watching me do this so paypal and that's on my phone that's 419.79 budget amount 38.18 and the actual amount i paid was 38.18 so if we've got 419, 419.79 from 38.18, that's 381.61. Okay, so... This is kind of where we are, not kind of, this is where we are with our debt, okay? I disappointed myself because I, I got myself into this pickle, balance transferring, spending, all this stuff, but it's going to be under control. It's a smaller list, so it's only four debts, so easier to focus. I do have a remainder debt. That I'm leaving for last. That's going to be seven and a half thousand. So seven thousand five hundred and ninety-six pounds, thirty-five pence. I'll focus on that once I finish paying most of this, and I'm, you know, almost at the finish line. Cause to be honest, twenty twenty-four is next year, so that's a big amount. Twenty twenty-five is the year after, but you want to get these paid off over a set amount of time. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly do some calculations and I'm going to come back and see how I could strategize and get this situation sorted. All right, guys, I'm back. So as you could see, I'm in the screen with my MasterCard. I'm transferring it from one of my accounts. The amount is 366. And this is what I'm going to have left after I make the payment. So I'm going to click Make Payment. And it says your payment of 366 to MasterCard has been successfully sent and is now processing. Okay, so there we go. 
Now I am going to add what we actually paid, which is 366, which you guys witnessed live. Our starting balance was, I don't know if you guys could have seen the end bit when I was filming, but I hope you were. If not, you could see it now. So my starting balance was 4,000. 387 pounds 60 pence and we paid 366 so that brings us down to 4,021 pounds 60 pence now I'm going to be honest completely honest with you guys how I came up with my monthly payment here is basically dividing this amount into a whole year so by april next year i want to be finished paying this i'm being realistic guys i'm a low income earner and pushing out 300 pounds is a lot of money because that's like three weeks rent there at least do you understand so this is a big sacrifice i'm gonna have to be really really careful with everything i'm working on my complete journey obviously it's a struggle but i'm not quitting on myself at all never did never will so we're at four thousand and twenty-one pounds sixty pence so i'm going to add up the amounts here and get our totals for the bottom so four thousand and twenty-one pounds sixty pence plus twenty-four thirty plus 300 plus 381.61 that leaves us with 7,133 pounds 21 pence and I'm just going to add up the actual bit and I should have written that in pink Sorry guys. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to stretch my book out for as long as I can. At least this side of it. I'm gonna put my total here. And I'm gonna add up this one. So in this one, we added this and this came to 7133.21. I'm going to add up the actual 366 plus 30 plus 75 plus 38.18. What? Hold on. So I'll have to be paying a monthly amount of 509 pounds 18 pence i think i'll i would eventually round that up to 510 that's what i'm going to be paying for the next year and then we'll see how we're getting on okay please stay tuned on my channel i'm very serious i don't have any room for errors right now honestly i've said this a million times but Guys, sometimes this thing is bigger than I am, but I'm working through it. I'm working through it. So 509.18. And then our budgeted amount was 30 plus 75 plus 38.18. That was 143.18. And we're going to say we're starting balance. We're at 4,387.16 plus 24.16 plus 375 plus 419.79. Why am I getting a different number? Hmm. 
Did I miscalculate? I'm pretty sure I miscalculated. That means this needs to change. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I know where I got this number from. This number was basically with this paid down. That paid down to 300. And this paid down to these amounts. So if we add up, let's add up these amounts and you'll see where I got that number. Just want to show you guys. 381.61 plus 300 plus 24.30 plus this amount here. Plus 4,387 point six zero. That's where I got the £7,499.37. But that's actually incorrect. If we're doing it properly, we need to work with our starting balance. So our starting balance was £4,387.60 plus £2,487.60. Three seven five plus four nineteen point seven nine. We like to keep things correct on this platform. We don't want any mix up. So seven thousand six hundred and forty two pounds thirty three pence. So let's get this changed. So if we subtract the 509 we should get that amount and we did no we didn't no we didn't hmm what the hell oh my word confusion I'm getting different numbers what the hell 4,387 pounds 60 pence plus 24.60 plus 3.75 plus 4.19.79. I'm getting 7,642 pounds 39 pence. And if we subtract that from 509.18 we get this amount so that amount is wrong once again cheese louise it needs to be seven six four two three nine i don't know where i got three three from i'm glad i'm catching these little mistakes okay guys so that's it that's where i am with my debt i've split it in half like i said the total amount is 15, but the, the seven and a half thousand, there's no interest on that. Well, obviously it does have interest. My student loan has interest on it, but I'm focusing on this side of things for now, my credit cards and stuff. So this is where we're at and we're going to see where we get to by the end of this year. All right. If you like the video, do give it a thumbs up. Remember, keep any unkind comments to yourself. You don't know what people are going through. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.